Hi guys, this video demonstrates the Moberg flap for a thumb defect. So as you can see, we have a <coughs> transverse amputation of the thumb for which we have planned the Moberg flap. So the incisions are marked in the mid lateral line on both sides. The dotted line what we are seeing is the approximate position of the neurovascular pedicle on both the sides. So we are going to include the neurovascular pedicles in our flap. So this makes the flap a sensate flap. What we are seeing over there is the exposed bone which we want to cover. So the typical advancement of the conventional Moberg flap is around 1 to 1.5 centimeters, not more than that. If we need more advancement, we need to look for different flap options because for a larger defect, eventually what happens is there are problems with closure of the donor site and we need to either graft the donor site or do some other option for it. Another problem with uh, the Moberg Wohler advancement is the flexion of the IP joint. So IP joint contractures are common because if the flap doesn't reach without tension, then it is generally sutured with some amount of tension and then there is some amount of healing with secondary intention which causes some amount of IP contractures. So that has to be avoided. Once the incisions are deepened, then the flap in centimeters, this advancement as you can see is around 1.2 to 1.3 millimeter uh, three centimeters and the neurovascular pedicles are clearly identified flap. A tension free closure can be achieved. And here you can see the post-op outcomes. These are early post-op outcomes with well-settled flap. Thank you.